Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to the Fantasy Forecast for Monday, May 16th, 2016. Uh, beautiful day today. All right, um, in front of you guys, you have the Rotowire lineup. Yeah, we're just moving right on in. Uh, I'm going to show you results in a moment from yesterday. I really hope you guys were able to get the lineup. I know these are coming fast and quickly, but it's just kind of how it has to be done to make sure that everything's done properly. Um, we have Westbrook and Curry in the point guard positions. Let's see here. What are they projecting at? Westbrook is projecting at uh, oh, 55. Curry is projecting at 49. J.R. Smith and Andre Robertson. Uh, J.R. Smith is projecting at 22. Robertson is projecting at 16. Uh, we got Durant and Barnes. Durant is projecting at 54. Barnes is projecting at 22. Now you gotta remember, there's King James thinking about in there as well. He could put up a good number, so that's the big problem with getting all four of those names. It's really difficult. Um, you got Kevin Love in there, um, projecting at 35. Patrick Patterson projecting at 21 points. And Steven Adams at the center projecting at 29 points. That's a good value, too. Their best value, um, yeah, probably on there to that ticket is um, it's Steven Adams. But coming in close, still at five, five and a half times, is Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. They think both are going to do well against Golden State, uh, which I don't doubt. It's going to be a high-scoring game, guys. Um, let's move on to Roto QL. Roto QL has Stephen Curry at 53, uh, Devon Wright at 22. Um, that's not going to happen. Um, J.R. Smith and Norman Powell. Um, J.R. Smith at 26, that's fine. Norman Powell at 29, like before, it's not going to happen. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, uh, I have no problem with either of those picks. That's probably their solid 100 points right there. Uh, yeah, 48 points projected for Durant, 52 for King James. Uh, Sergei Ibaka projecting at 24. Uh, Kevin Love projecting at uh, 35. And Enos Cantor for center, projecting at 30, which I don't really believe, but it could happen in another lifetime, possibly. Okay, uh, this is Daily Fantasy Cafe. You got Westbrook and Irving at the point guard positions. Uh, Westbrook is projecting at 55, Irving is projecting at 39. We got Clay Thompson and DeRozan in the shot guard. Clay is projecting at 37, DeRozan is projecting at 37. We got Iggy and Barnes in the small forward. Iggy's projecting at 21, and Barnes is projecting at 21. Uh, we got Ibaka and Love in the power forward. Ibaka's projecting at 26. Love's projecting at 36. And Steven Adams for the center, and he's projecting at 28 points for a total lineup score of 300. They all got kind of higher scores here tonight, which I really like, um, because we knew this was going to be a higher scoring game, guys, from yesterday's video, if you watched that. We knew today was going to be high. Okay, and finishing off here, uh, let's see. Oh, um, this was hilarious, guys. Um, I had from Fantasy Pros, and they literally gave me a lineup that was all Golden State in Oklahoma City. Uh, it's like, um, Eamon Schuper here, right here, is a switch out. They originally had Randy Foy in there. So, you know, you can consider it was Randy Foy, but Foy plays for OKC, guys. So, you know, they had five OKC players and four Golden State players, and it was like invalid lineup, and I had to make a switch. There was no way around it. Uh, they have Steph Curry and Russell Westbrook at the point guard position, so I have no problem with that. They got Schumpert uh, and Robertson, and I had to make the Schumpert switch. I told you guys why. Randy Foy was only projecting at 12 points anyway, so I think that's a better switch. And Robertson's projecting it for them at 14. We got Kevin Durant projecting at 46 points, and Barnes projecting at 21. We got Ibaka projecting at 26 points, and we got... Draymond Green projecting at 39 points, and I like that they were able to fit him in. Most people are not going to have him today. I bet he has low ownership. Um, they did punt the center, Izzelli. Um They're only expecting 14 points from him, though, which is realistic. Um, the lineup score on our Fantasy Pros is coming in at 268. It's a bit low, even for variation between these guys. There's normally like a 10% difference. All right, and I believe this is Daily Fantasy Nerd we have in front of us right here, guys. And they've been one of the better ones lately. Uh, we got Westbrook and Curry in the point guard positions. Westbrook is projecting at 55 points. Curry, uh, the point guard, projecting at 51 points. Um, we got DeRozan projecting at 33 points. Or 34, I'm sorry. Ross projecting at 14 points. 
Um, T. Ross isn't a bad pick there either. I think he will see those 23 minutes they're projecting him to get. Everyone else is pretty much projecting a full game, except their center, Cantor, at the bottom. Uh, he's projecting 23 minutes as well. Um, let's go back in. Um, Durant was projecting for 54 points. Barnes projecting for 22 points. Patrick Patterson and Ibaka at power forward. Patterson's projecting at 22 points. Ibaka's projecting at 25 points. And Cantor projecting at 26 points. Which is very nice. Um, they fit the whole salary and they came up with a 303. And you got to remember when you're looking at these things, guys. Um, Golden State, the game today, I mean, they're expecting more of a blowout tomorrow against Toronto. Cleveland's are really expected to push it. It's like 11 point spread versus an 8 point spread. The game tonight should be a little closer, and we have an over over under 224 versus 202, 203, or something like that. So, you know, you're going to still want to push today's game, but and if you pick the winner of tomorrow's game, and it's likely to be Cleveland, you know, kind of stack up there, then you're going to end up with a lineup similar to the one that I end up showing you. This is the last optimized lineup. Um, I'm not going to reveal the source of it other than to say that it has Curry and Westbrook and James and Durant in it. Um, the way it was done is it's got J.R. Smith at the shot guard and Schumpert at the shot guard to save some money, obviously. The power forwards are punted as well. It's got Patrick Patterson, who will at least get some, some time, and Spigots. Um, so if Golden State blows out OKC, he'll get some more time, but if not, then he won't and only see like eight or nine or ten minutes. I mean, it won't be great, but it'll probably be a few points. And it's meant to punt through the rest of the lineup, apparently, for Izelli at the bottom as well. And because he'll probably only see, you know, just a few minutes of action unless it's a blowout. Um, there is possibility that Bogut, like, is going to have a bit of a minutes restriction, though. So it's not a bad punt today at center. Out of all the punts I see here, Izelli is one of the smarter ones, in my opinion. Um, all right, and let's get on to my optimal lineup for today. This is what I recommend you guys take for today. And I have Steph Curry, and I got Irving in the point guard. And why? Because I think everyone is going to have Westbrook, and I've already got exposure to Westbrook. Uh, and I'll show you on my ongoing entries. On these two-game slates, you end up playing like new games like but you're already playing with the old scores on this game. and So I already have Westbrook exposure anyways. I'm not worried if he does well. And yes, you guys can swap him out. I mean, look, it's the same price. Okay, guys? If you don't like it, add Westbrook instead and run it. Okay? Ooh, didn't like that. Didn't like that. It made me take Curry. Someone else in there is going to have to go if you want Westbrook. But there's other choices. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, like like here, waiters. Waiters can go to Schumper uh, again because uh, he'll see some time. It's not so, not a bad play. So, but this is my optimal lineup. Take Curry and take Irving. I think Curry will anchor them. I think he's had so much time to rest up now that he's going to put up like 60 or 65 fantasy points. He's going to be the god tonight. And Westbrook. Uh, God's be honest, man. I mean, the San Antonio put them through the ringer. They're going to be strong. I, I don't doubt it. But I think that Durant's going to shine a little bit more in this one because I think Westbrook and Curry are going to get each other. And Curry can can play basketball damn, damn well as good as... It's going to be a fun game to watch, guys. Small ball versus big... I, I'm going to love this. This series is going to be awesome. Uh, we got... Anyways, Curry and Irving in the point guard positions. And I think that Irving is your secret play because Irving will be like Lowry last night. And let me explain that. This is my live entry from yesterday that I gave you guys when I told you to play. So my live entry from yesterday here. See how I got Curry right there tonight and then I got Lowry with 61 points. I got Terrence Ross with 13, then I got Winslow at 29, and Patterson for 29. So, I mean, most of my stuff's still running tonight. I got Draymond Green, I got Steven Adams, I got Kevin Durant, I got Waiters, and I got Curry all running tonight. That's pretty much damn. I mean, because I got good value out of Lowry at an $8,600 price to get 61 points. I don't know what that's, but that's at least six times value, probably seven times value or so. Um, this was only like about four. But that anchors the rest of it in. Winslow wasn't highly owned and 30 points on 3,500 salary. Yes, please. Another 30 points, basically 29 on 3,800 salary. Yes, please. 
So I'm very happy with where that lineup sits that I gave you guys yesterday. I'm not worried about it at all. And so in that same vein, you got Curry here, Irving, J.R. Smith, Waiters, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Ibaka, Spigitz, and Adams. Now, here, I don't like Ibaka as much, okay? But what can I do? Oh, it doesn't really do all that much for me because it's not much of a salary shift to move them. You see what I mean, guys? Like, salary shifting is important in these games. You have to wonder about that. So let's try this real fast. So we're going to have to knock out. Let's say you wanted to get Westbrook. You're like, no. And I'm only thinking that for myself right now. And this is how I would do this, guys, just to show you. Some of the other computer projections show them is going a little better anyways. So then I want to get some OKC exposure here to that. I basically am handing away Curry, unless I decide to take Curry and do that crazy lineup I showed you before. But, you know, but if I want to take him, you want Adams tonight, you want Durant tonight. So Ibaka and Waiters are your chopping candidates. I'd probably just do that. It makes it simple. And Cleveland would be a quadruple stack that way that I don't think a lot of people would be jumping onto. Do you guys all see that on the other end there? Let me go ahead and back in. We'll just make it look like it's a lineup. See? So you got Westbrook and Irving at the point guard positions. And then you got J.R. Smith and Schumpert at the shot guard. You got LeBron James and Kevin Durant at the small forward. You got Ibaka and Spigitz again at power forward. And you have Adams for your center. Now you could upgrade a little bit here and gods be held i tell you you might want to i mean if you can get patrick patterson like this and i know a way you can do this real fast this would be kind of nuts here but you can do it by taking enos Cantor, and he should see some minutes run tonight i mean you can see right there if you zoom in a little bit he had 19 minutes 19 minutes 28 minutes 30 minutes and 21 minutes again in the san antonio series so, I mean, he's getting about 20 in each one. So, 20 minutes should be about 22, 23 points. And that's good to hold the rest of the lineup together there, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So, you know, you got Patrick Patterson instead of a really, really, you know, a, a, a punt that sees minutes instead of a punt that really probably isn't going to see minutes. I think OKC and Golden State are going to play close and they're going to play long. Whereas Cleveland is just going to destroy Toronto and Patterson will probably see minutes anyways, no matter what. Actually, yes. I'm kind of thinking, actually, this is probably the way to go, guys. Um, as much as I like Steven Adams tonight, you know, I'm losing probably 10 points there because I think Steven Adams is going to put up a 35-point fantasy game. Ian's Cantor is only going to do 25 there. I think this is the way you'd want to run instead, to be honest. I mean, because you also get that waiter's pick out, too. And I, you get Westbrook now instead of Curry, which is interesting. And you're still using the same philosophy. I mean, if Irving gets as many points as Curry would tonight on fresh legs, you know, you're okay. The real question is who does better tonight, Westbrook or Curry? Right, guys? But now it's interchangeable. I'll just change it to this entry. And now, on this lineup, which has been set with Cantor instead at the bottom, it is possible to just swap out for Westbrook instead, if you guys prefer Westbrook. It's not stacked heavily on either direction. And for a cash lineup, I'm going to recommend this instead, guys. Take your Westbrook or Curry pick as you prefer at the top, and go with Kyrie Irving for your other point guard, J.R. Smith and Schumpert for your shot guard, LeBron James and Kevin Durant for your small forwards, Ibaka and Patrick Patterson for your power forward, and Enos Cantor for your center. That would be my cash play. And your tournament play, which has now just been left to this one right here. Sorry, guys. but Your tournament play would be Curry and Irving at the point guard, J.R. Smith and Dion Waiters at the shot guard, LeBron James and Kevin Durant at the small forward, Ibaka and Spigitz at the power forward, and Adams for your center.
because I think Spigots will see some more time tonight. I'm not so sure on that, and I do like Adams. I think he's going to have 35 points in him tonight. I just, I, li I love that value. I want to work it in. Whereas Cantor is more like a five times value versus a seven times value. All right, guys, um, that's fantasy forecast for today. Um, thank you so much for pushing me way over 250 subs. You guys are amazing. I'm going to go get this uploaded. Go on out there, please. And I hope you all took the line yesterday. Go on and go win some big time money because if that line comes in, I mean, look at it, guys, 133 on $19,000 in salary. If the other, I mean, here's $40,000 in salary left, 11000 about 15, 25, 35, $40,000 in salary. Two thirds of this lineup still gets to run. It projects out to 400. You guys are going to make some serious money. And I really hope you do. All right. I love you all. Go on out there. Go win some big money.